Okay, so we're back. Um, I just wanted to... No, I think that's about it. I thought I needed to go over something really quickly, but I guess not. Uh, shield lob. There we go. First Sword Mila wishes to assign you another task. Hmm. Which of those is actually better? Yeah, I guess the boots. Uh. Hey, old blue. You come at a good time. I have another task I wish to assign you. The Immortal Flames of the Brass Blades... Oh, the Immortal Flames and the Brass Blades have both requested the guild's assistance in maintaining security at Camp Drybone, a vital outpost along the Royal Allegan Sunway. The Amalgia have been raiding caravans with reckless abandon, creating a significant disruption in the trade. Ulda has a long, troubled history with the Amalgia, so raids are not unheard of. However, this recent escalation must be addressed. Go to Camp Drybone and search for these raiders, Blue. I've already dispatched other gladiators to patrol the region, so I suggest you speak with one with more for more information. Okay. Uh, so I've actually gone to Camp Drybone already. Uh, I was over there. Yeah, I was over here for some uh, for some stuff when it came to Miner. So we could teleport over there, but uh, I think we're going to just walk over there to uh, preserve what little money I've left. Okay, welcome to... Welcome to Eastern Thanalon. I actually kind of like this area as a, you know, area. We're not going to be doing that. Uh, one of the reasons is uh, you have this massive structure. Um, I wish we were here at night so you can actually see it's um, full, full majesty. For the, for the first time in a while I've uh, went up to the store and just got like a big box of Cheez-Its. So I just have it next to me in case I need a snack. Because uh, apparently I physically can't do anything without being reminded. Of my certain bird-like qualities. Um, so I'm going to pick this up. But I'm not going to like read any of this stuff. Because it's the exact same stuff that you are probably aware of. Like it, it's a leave. Like it's really... Ooh. Wait no. I don't think I actually showed this off. Did I actually show off a regular leave? I don't think I did. Huh. Yeah, sure, I'll do this really quickly. I think I may have. Uh, future me editing. If uh, if I already had, uh, just like remove this next part. Put it up all the way, as is customary. Go up to this guy who has his uh, thing. We have to uh, beckon him. This thing or uh, beckon emote to bring him in a little closer. We have to get him to the exit, or at least to the predetermined spot that it is. Since this enemy out here randomly has a little like a card above it. It means it's usually important to the actual uh, leave itself. Even if it's not currently uh, going after me. There we go. I just realized that I hadn't actually gone in, gotten into a, uh, a fight until... Uh, until just then. Um, a fight with my new armor on. I just realized I had spent that long in a in crafting mode, effectively. But yeah, with these escort missions that you have to beckon with, it's really simple. You uh, you just bring them a little bit forward, wait for um, an enemy to spawn on the minimap, 
and the second that they do, you stop everything, and then take them out before they can, um, arm your, uh, dang it, I forgot. These guys are still here. This is actually, like, a really terrible time for this to happen. Uh, since those guys are gonna be targeting me, I might as well just... pull him up here so we can go around. Yeah, these, um, Dukos aren't, uh, being rude at all. This one is going to be, though. There we go. This also is a, a convenient uh, excuse to do a little bit of a shortcut towards the uh, the exit. I wish the exit had. Um, one of those rings around it, like, uh, you see in later, uh, you see in later missions. Ye. Yeah. Again, all I really did was to open up the, um, is to open up the, uh, leaves here. And it may not seem like much, but when we are actually eventually needing to interact with the leaves later, They'll be a little bit more helpful. There you go, level 19. Camp Drybone Leaves, there we go. Uh, level 15. High quality level 14. Yeah, no wonder. Can I just... Put that in my regular inventory to sell later. Okay. What exactly level oh, ten? Okay. I was uh I was trying to remember what level that uh mission that we are about to go on is. Uh I think one of the um What the things I am gonna say is that oh, huh? Get down! They're still here. Uh, okay. I mean, they don't seem too difficult. Oh wait, I forgot I'm over leveled. Um. Uh, they aren't too difficult to an extent. I was gonna just take the hit, but I forgot that I had a... I had low blow a little bit too late. Don't worry, sister, I'll be fine. Though, maybe not when the first sword is done with me. Go and tell her the Amalgia are dead. Leave the merchant to me. It's okay, dude. Don't worry. We all have bad days. Okay, I made it back. Uh, so... Let's talk to her. Also, I just noticed as I was coming in... That this isn't the end of the quest. You know I was right to send you, Blue. You've done us proud. Seven hells. This place weeks of sweat. How do you expect a man to concentrate on a swordplay like this? All this? You remember me. Oh, good, brother. Still waving your sword around like a feather duster? You. You. Good to see you too, Mila, my dear. You are more beautiful than I remember. You're alive? Where have you been all these years? Answer me. Me? Well, if you must know, I'm a spiritual journey of self discovery. Damn it, Aldous, this is serious. We all thought you were dead, and 
for you to walk in here as though nothing ever happened? Have you forgotten how you dishonored us? I should cut you down where you stand. Ho oh, ho, that's the Mila I remember. All fire and brimstone. Un I knew that pretty face could still comfort... Contort itself into some terrifying shapes. Uh, don't pout, girl. I'm just having fun. But as you wish, I'll go. Blue, was it? Why don't you join me at the quicksand? I could use some company. I doubt anyone else here would be so kind. Hmm. I'm just barely away from hitting 20. <laughs> it's actually really funny. Like, I keep looking at it like, man... If only she did like a little bit more, I'd actually be there. Okay, made it over here. Uh oh, all this got uh got the ring of solo instance around him. Oh, well, you came. Sorry, you had to witness that little reunion between me and Mila. Sword of Nald, back from the dead. I think I'd be greeted by throngs of adoring fans, not threats of violence. Listen, Blue, you're good with a sword. It's plain to see. But more than that, you've got a purpose. There's a fire burning within you. As a former man of conviction, I can recognize a kindred spirit. Geralt named her Frenzy. She's one of a magnificent pair of swords that the drunken progeny, prodigy formed for Colosseum champions. The man who wielded her twin had eyes that burned like yours. Blue, I... The hells? Aldous, Sword of Nald, we've come for your head. If you do that, then how the hells am I supposed to enjoy my ale? Arrogant fool, prepare to meet your maker. Well, ain't you a bunch of impatient, humorless fellas. Up for a bit of fun, Blue? I'll lead, you follow. So, the first time I did this on a... So the first time I did this on camera, I, uh... I just started attacking random ones. And, uh, apparently there's one that has just, like, a lot of health. And I nearly died because uh, I was only attacking that one. Wait a second. I just, I just realized something. Oh. Oh, okay, so they're protecting people. For a split second, I'm like, wait, is there, like, actually assailants back there? Like, what's going on? Yeah, that that's the one with a lot of health. Those weaklings are all yours. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just keep whacking away at this one until uh until he falls down, I guess.
Thanks, all this. Man, they just teleported in. Like, what the heck? See, look how easy these ones are to take out than the one random archer that had, a, like, a million health. There we go. Duty complete. There we go. Didn't think you'd go so far as to send a gang of cell swords into the quicksand in broad daylight. Why is it never a bevy of beauties? Let's continue this another time, shall we? I need to find a new place to drink, one with more attractive company than this sorry lot. Took an unusually long time to load. Now nah, I'll get the uh, quest from her after I uh, after I reconvene back the uh, Gladiators Guild. My apologies, Blue. I meant to teach you a new technique earlier, but when that idiot arrived, I completely forgot. He's just so infuriating. Him. <clears throat> The shield lob technique will allow you to attack from afar without the need of ranged weaponry. Since we gladiators are primarily close range fighters, the ability to draw the attention of distant enemies is a valuable asset. May it serve you well in the field, Blue. Okay. Uh, bronze Curus? No. Bronze Gauntlets. Uh, that's a 4 level difference. No to the trousers, and I think I said I wanted to do this one. Yeah, because it's level five. There we go. There we go. I like how there's a little animation that plays whenever we uh, get an ability for completing a. Uh... Oh, there we go. For completing a. Actual story beat. And there we go. Send that to inventory. Send those two. Okay. Uh what exactly? Oh, I I, I think I know what I want to do. So we aren't too far away from level 20. But in reality, we are actually exactly what we need to be to go through the rest of the uh, uh, main scenario quest for a bit. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to reconvene at the Adventurers Guild, and I'm actually going to show something off really quickly. So you may have remembered that I mentioned uh, that we will talk to this guy. Well, well, the Venture Adventurer does not trape so awkwardly around your shoulders as the once did. While questing alone certainly brings its own rewards, you haven't truly adventured until you've delved into some darkened dungeon, stalwart comrades at your side. Ancient ruins, echoing caverns, and all manner of deadly places lie hidden across the realm, and these are best conquered in a company of trustworthy allies. And such advice holds true for many a formidable foe that would crush a solitary adventurer. How one fights in a party, however, is often drastically different from how one fights alone. Thus do we can construct the Hall of the Novice, where we endeavor to prepare you for those differences. The Hall can be found just north of Aleport in western Lenotia. Within its walls we offer burgeoning heroes a bevy of training exercises. Step into the flames, my friend, and forge the skills you shall need for the morrow. All of the novice membership granted. Okay, so this is stuff that we can do, and you might be wondering what exactly is this? Uh, it is actually a list of uh, 
training challenges that we can actually complete. Um, now that we're at level 15, specifically having completed the level 15 uh, class quest that we were, um, role quest that we were just doing, a nice bird, um, we can do that. And I think I'm going to hold off on doing it until I actually hit the level 15 story beat. Because the level 15 story beat is when they actually ask us to go out and do that. And I don't think that we're going to do this until we actually hit that. Because as they say, uh, the hull of the novice is actually an airport. And I think when we head over there for the first time that's when we're actually going to do it. thought that was another bird. Oh. Momo D of the Quicksand has a word has word of work for a willing adventurer. Uh, both of these are no longer up my alley. Look what the curl dragged in. Good to see you, Blue. I asked what brings you, but I reckon we both know the answer to that already. Well, I have... Have I ever let you down before? Wait, don't answer that. It so happens that a, a fellow by the name of Dadanin, who needs a hand, he's a merchant by trade, selling precious stones in to those in Old Awe with the means to buy them. He asked that I send any any looking for work this his way. If you find him over in Horizon, if you fancy... That's in Western Thailand, mind you. Just cross the bridge north of Scorpion Crossing, and the road will take you there. Knowing the circles he deals in, might might be that he'll have some talk of the royal family that will interest you as well. And why not make use of a chocobo porter for the journey to Horizon? If you have the gill for that, that is. You'll find the chocobo stables just across the way from the quicksand. Find Mimi again and he'll set you straight. Well, off you go then. I haven't got all day to be holding your bloody hand. Okay. Um, I actually completely forgot that they actually uh, tell you specifically to use the Chocobo Porter. Uh, the Chocobo Porter is fine. But again, like, the only reason to ever hire a Chocobo Porter is if you're like, okay, this thing is like two and a half minutes away. I have like a lot of it isn't too much gill so i'll just set that look over into my other screen and do stuff really quickly as i wait the two minutes for it to go over you know it's it's very simple it's incredibly simple uh unfortunately i don't want to do that uh, instead i want to just hit return and go to horizon because i was actually actually over in horizon if you remember uh for doing the leaves so i was already over here and i just like grabbed it then uh i really haven't done much over here since then but i did do a lot of my hunting log up here this is basically gonna be a new uh Head of operations for a bit. Blue, I presume? Aye. Momo D said to expect you, and so I have. Welcome to Horizon. Ours is a trading settlement that sees goods from the port of Vesper Bay to the west. And trade we do. Nary a day goes by that the Horizon isn't bustling with some matter of merchants and officials. Uh, do, do you need help over there? It looks like you're kind of struggling to hold that box for so long. They keep us running about busy, they do. Enough so that I wish that I had chocobo legs in place of my own, and that's why I've asked Momo D to send me any souls looking for work. Twelve know there's plenty of it to be around here. Speak to me again when you're ready to make your make yourself of some use. Grab money. Uh, both of those are lesser. Dadanen uh, would like you to deliver a message to the Kapbo Mines. 
it so happens I have a situation that must be resolved post haste, and I do mean post. I plumb out of premium product, and the latest order has yet to arrive. If I keep my customers waiting any longer, this could irrevocably damage my, my reputation. What's worse, I paid my man in advance for his services. Despite his assurances that it would be a simple affair, I've heard nothing since he departed for Cop Belmine days ago. Find Drunken Stag and give him this notice, I cannot afford any further delay. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely looking like um, an art, uh, an MMO character now. Mismatching colors, different looking pieces of, of sets, but we do not care because the set that we're getting later is going to be far more important than anything that we are going to get while leveling. So, uh, we could go over there and quickly do the Cop Bell Mine side quest, but actually I want to go a little bit deeper over here. Uh, I haven't showed off this area yet, but uh, this area over here is kind of like... Uh, uh, actually, well, I'll just show it off. This is like a, an elevator thing. Like, if I remember correctly, it's literally so you can, like, pull up a wagon. Like, hook it right there, and then, like, a, uh, a winch system, like, pulls it up all the way, so... Yeah, so, like, large shipments aren't, like, dragged uphill. You know, instead it's, uh, carried up through an elevator. Pretty neat. I... I still think that this is one of the more underrated areas, where it's just the, um, swampy ravine with, like, the old civilization ruins just sitting down here. There's, like, a little, like, uh, hamlet over there. It's kind of neat. But what we're actually coming over here is this area that I've already been to. I've already activated the uh, Chocobo Porter as it, as it showed when we actually interacted with the Mimi Gun. This is Vesper Bay. Uh, this is one of the more important areas of the game. Mostly because it's one of the few areas uh, with a land crossing into, uh, into Limsa Lamensa. All we have to do is basically walk over to the Fairy Taker. Oh, I guess it's not open yet. But uh, all we all we would have to do is walk up to this um, fairy taker, and uh... huh, oh, we could actually head over there. Um, hmm, and uh, just like talk to them. Uh, funny story about this. In 1.0, there used to actually be a fair, a real fairy, that would come over. And it's, it was on like a three minute cycle, I believe, where it would go from here to um, Linselmenta, which was another part of the map. Like, there would be a loading screen in between to send them, but it's still really funny that it's like, oh, that's neat. Uh, so, funny story about this area. Uh, I keep having to run over here, and you might be asking why, and the answer is blue cheese. This is the only place in the entire game that you can actually get blue cheese, and it's much easier to take the boat ride from Linsa Lamenta over here, grab some cheese, then uh, buy it on the auction store, which I, I saw for once was like selling for like 5,000. I'm like, dude... What are you doing? Yeah, Vesper Bay is kind of neat. Uh, massive statue. Uh, filled with uh, self-conceit. Okay. But there's actually a reason why we came over here. And it's actually because the um, mismatched items and colorings actually made me think of this character over here. So... Uh, she has two quests for us, and both are intrinsically linked. We're going to do the first one and then the second one really quickly. You there! Yes, you, the decisively unfashionable adventurer. Gods be good, never in my life has I seen such an 
unapologetic focus on function at extreme cost to form. The mere sight of you, of you fair, makes my eyes bleed. As a lover of all things aesthetically pleasing, I cannot in good conscience allow you to continue roaming the realm in that sorry state. I believe your appearance can yet be salvaged through the use of color. I will teach you how to go about dyeing your outfits, but first, I need a drink. The heels give me a vicious thirst, and I will not be able to talk for any length of time. Be a dear and buy me a bottle of orange juice at the stall by the northern gates, would you? Once I have moistened my throat, we shall see to the business of remedying your appearance. Speaking of uh, going to this merchant over here, uh, they in fact, um, uh, they in fact sell orange juice. There we go. No, it's not eye drops. I was trying to remember which one it is. I think it's I think it's like a green potion. Because I'm still trying to remember which one is the one that we need for uh What is the one we need for uh paralysis? Gonna just move those down there preemptively. Pray tell, have you brought my orange juice? Lest you have forgotten the merchant who sells it is just up there. Whew, that's a relief. Finally I can teach you how to bring color into your life. Listen well. There are handy items called colorants, which allow folk to dye their outfits a veritable rainbow of colors. These colorants are so simple to use, adventurers have no excuse but to be fashion conscious unconscious. These colorants are so simple to use, adventurers have no excuse. Yeah. Lest you worry about that dying will affect your garment's precious properties, you may rest assured it will not. The practically you adventurers love. Oh, the practicality. The practicality you adventurers love so much will not suffer the change in appearance, a change for the better. It should also gladden you to know that garments can be dyed repeatedly, so there is no fear of getting locked into one color. The garish pink that seems so such a wonderful idea, half a dozen glasses of red can be undone. And that is all you need to know about dyeing gear. Now, what are you waiting for? Get out there and bring some color into your life. Pastel pink, pastel yellow, and pastel blue. Cool, thanks. Uh, dyeing clothing option is really simple. When you look at an, a piece of item and you right click on them, you could go to dye. And not only can you see like everything, including what happens when you remove all the dye, you can see what it looks like when you uh, dye them. So these ones right here are specialty ones that you need like very special things to buy with it. Uh, usually it's just to make them look glossy or metallic. And then you have the uh, incredibly dark or incredibly light uh, pastels. Silver is pretty good sometimes. People really like um, the metallic gold one. There we go. The metallic gold one's fine. It's just kind of garish. Uh, but yeah, the pink that they gave us, um, not really that interesting, all things considered. Uh, the bone white is okay, and the ice blue is also okay. Um... To be honest, we're probably going to just sell all these dyes because we don't actually uh, need them. Because I actually do have a list of dyes that I'm going to be using. But that actually factors in with the second thing that we need to do. Sirgim wishes... Sirurgim. Sirurgim. Sirur? Sire? So we are Guillaume. Sierra Guillaume wishes to impart you her knowledge of glamours. Oh dear, 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 dear. This will never do. My sense of aesthetics simply won't allow it. How can you go out dressed like that? 
My dear, if only you could spare a thought for style or coordination. I hope your garb holds up during a scuffle, because there's little else going for it. That's it, I've made up my mind. From this day forth, I will take it upon myself to save you from more fashion disasters. Let me see. How much of that needs to be addressed? Where to begin? Be a dear, give me a drink. I am feeling rather parched, and this is a matter best discussed over a glass of something cold. Just go to the pissed piece and find Fullison, and I'll have some blood orange juice, and tell her to make sure it's no pulp in it. Now off you go. Eh. On the bright side, we actually know that, like, uh... Oh, Sergium sent you, did she? That woman has never known... I've never known anyone so lazy. Would it tell her to come and just get it herself? Here you are. Don't let her push you around, you know? Give her an ilm and she'll take a all. I know those words. Those words mean something, apparently. Um, okay. How's the drink coming along? Oh. Oh, delicious. Nothing better on a hot day. Some say I have expensive tastes, but life's too short to settle for second best. Of course, this extends to my choice of wardrobe, too. Now that I'm feeling refreshed, shall we get started? Do you know, dear, you look less drab if you apply glamours? What's a glamour, you ask? Well, they use a glamour prism as a catalyst to project an image of one item onto another. It's just an illusion mind, but very convincing. This means the original object stays essentially the same, but takes on a new appearance, that's all. Remember, if you fancy a change, you don't have to stick with the same glamour. Just apply another one on top, or use a glamour dispeller to return the object to normal. Why sacrifice such humdrum trifleties? Why sacrifice style for such humdrum trifles as durability or protection from bodily harm? I mean, let's put possibilities for self-expression are just a couple of glamours away. Go ahead and give it a try. And, and do be quick, dear, for my sake. I am finding your uninspired attire more and more offensive with each passing moment. So not only did she give me the ability to do glamours, she also gave us a way for us to uh, access dressers. Yeah, so the way that this works is that um, you take a Glamour Prism and you, uh, oh, there's the dressers. Um, you take an item that you want and you, and you just change it to what it is. Uh, several games have ways to, uh, to do this, and I feel like Final Fantasy XIV has a bit of a problem with it, but to be honest, they are trying to fix the system that they have right now. So it's a little better, but it's still weird. So we're actually going to go back into Ulda to uh, to put some stuff into our uh, glamour dresser really quickly. Okay, so not sure if I introduced the in room before, but here it is. So we've got two things over here. An armoire and a glamour dresser. An armoire is for things that have oftentimes a blue background to it. Or a purple background to it. That are items given to us by our... Specifically for our completion of things that are class-based. Um, so in our uh, achievements log, there's actually a few things that you can s search for. One of them is uh, like, if I remember correctly, here it is. Uh... 
I thought it says it right there. Uh, I'm trying to... I believe the idea is that if it says no on... Oh wait, there it is. So, in the upper right hand corner of the item, uh, you'll see that there are three icons. One of them is a shield, one of them is a... One of them is an icon that looks like the dresser, and another icon that looks like the armoire. Uh, if it has that third one on the right lit up, it means that it can go into there. But if you look over at something like this turban, it has the shield lit up because it's currently equipped, and it has the Glamour Dresser light on, meaning that it can be put into the Glamour Dresser, but the armoire is no longer lit up because this is not one of those items that can be sent over there. Um, wait, what's the shield then? What's the... uh? Maybe it's market prohibited? No? I'm trying to figure out what the uh, shield is then. Because now I'm confused. Uh... Oh, maybe it's uh, things that can't be traded because it's spirit bonded to me. That's what it is. No, because that one's not lit up. Okay, now I'm just confusing myself. Either way, uh, the thing I wanted to show you was the other two. Um, so this Glamour Dresser is actually really helpful. So what we could do is we could look at all the stuff that we have in our inventory. Uh, hide item registered to gear sets. So we're going to remove that. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw the... Um, the beret that we got from completing the uh, glamour, uh, the glamour mission, the custom made curious that uh, that we got for completing that class quest, and all of the starting gear that has the word Mikote on it, uh, mostly because I just didn't want it in my inventory anymore and it's taking up space. There we go. Uh, so, basically what happens is that now it's in the Glamour Dresser, and as you can see, we actually reduce the amount of our uh, Glamour Prisms, and we're going to reduce it down just one more. So, Glamour Plates. Uh, what a Glamour Plate is, is that it's a, uh, it is basically a bare slate that we could throw things onto. So, let's just say that we go to Body and we want to put the Makote item on, if we then attach this to one of our gear sets, uh, link to Glamour Plate, we could then link it to one of the Glamour Plates, so whenever we switch this one, it will automatically just apply all of the Glamours to it for no extra cost. The only real cost of um, us doing that is literally just put things into the glamour plate. So what we're gonna do is that, and only that. Uh, right now we're uh, gonna set the uh, custom made curious right there. Gear set list, set it to gladiator, and there we go. So you can see that there's a one sitting right there because it's saying which glamour plate it's attached to. And now every single time we switch the Gladiator, it will auto automatically apply the custom-made Curious to whatever we are wearing on it. And this is honestly one of the cooler things. So if you're like, nah, I don't really care about the way that the uh, armor looks. I want this specific thing to always be on my character. And the game basically went, sure, go for it. Uh, clearly we're going to do more to this outfit than just this. Uh, especially with the glamour plates. Like, there's like 20 of them now, 
it used to be like only like I think like uh, 15 and they added like an additional like yeah I think it was 15 I think what happened that it was like yeah 1 through 8 and then um, 9 through 15 and then they just added like 5 more to do all the stuff we could also dispel all of our glamour um, which is pretty easy uh, so yeah, uh, we still look really bad color-wise. But again, like I said, we don't really care about aesthetics right now, as long as we are- it is getting the job done, you know? One of the things that I discovered, um, a while ago, was the hunting log. So if you actually notice, as you are going down the list, there's actually a very certain order. So, Horizon's Edge, the clutch you know all that western thailands it makes sense but then they start asking you to go to the footfalls uh the footfalls is here right here so think about it in this context so what they wanted to do is they wanted to go to her um is that they wanted you to come over here then go over here then go back over there, and then, uh, later down the list, go over to Easter Thailand. It is literally the trajectory of how you would go if you're going in order of uh, levels. So right after you go through the footfalls over here, and you get to the level 15 quests, then you would go over to Easter Thailand because you're doing the, uh, the uh, roll quest first. And all that kind of stuff. And then you would go down here. Because at that point you are uh, high enough level to actually take out the enemies in this tiny little pocket right here. The enemies up here are way too strong. But the enemies that are in this pocket right here are actually a little bit stronger than, uh, than normal. And it is actually kind of interesting because naturally you would just go through the ranks of the hunting log just by doing the associated quests that are that tell you to go into the area if you're doing them in order i find that that's kind of neat but in reality what it what you really do is that you uh run around you do all that to get the levels necessary to go and do those level do those missions that were sent you send you over there you know what do you want hmm dalton's product here is a final notice, a firmly worded reminder of delivery from the jeweler Tatanen. He can send all the notices he likes, but it won't change a thing. The concern has closed the mines due to some incident in the depth. It's a goddamn shame too. Lost a decent haul just over yonder during all the chaos. Uh... Drunken Stag needs someone to retrieve the raw Nasha Na Sha Shite. Sight? Shite. It's like Malachite. Okay. Nasha Kite. Uh, he dropped outside the mines. The product you heard Dadan and go on about is a viable gemstone known as Ra Nasha Shite. Nasha Sight. Kite. Nasha kite. I managed to dig up a good, uh, goodly amount just before the mines were closed off, actually. Packed it up and hauled it out, even. But when them twelve damned coblins came around, not like any coblins I've seen before, and hungry for the good rocks. They had eyes for my gemstones, but I had no choice but to oblige. The stone torches had their hands full evacuating the mines. So they ignored the beasts, and even now they're concerned with keeping people out. Please, friend, if you're willing to face the coblins, would you bring me my... Nashakite. Nashakite actually feels like it, sh it rolls off the tongue properly, and I'm actually astounded. But yeah, these copper... these coblins are actually really interesting. I never actually, like, mentioned it before, because these ones can now actually drop items. 
So one of the funniest things about it is that is that every once in a while when you defeat one, you actually get four from it, and it's actually really neat. Uh, so you could literally go out and go like, hey, here's an iron coblin. Beat them up and you'll most likely get an iron ore from it. Uh, the reason why these um, yeah, prism coblins, because they're about to drop the Nasha kite. There we go. Which is really funny because uh, it's just generic wind shard for the uh, for the icon, which I don't know why they did that, but it's just kind of funny. Let's go with uh, that right now, so uh, we can actually like uh, access our uh, AOE ability from the uh, the main hot bar. Uh, very infrequently will we be using a shield lob, which as you can see right here, all it really is good for is if you're like doing a fight and you're like, oh, I need to get out of that uh, circle, and you just use that as you're backing away to kind of like poke at them from a distance. Um, all of the tanking abilities that have the sort of ranged attack also gives you increased enmity. So it's actually really useful if you're just running around and you're like, oh, I need to grab that guy because he's uh, attacking one of my teammates. And as you're running away, you just shield lob to like uh, throw it at them. I find that it's um a lot more useful than than some people like think it is. Like I've heard several people say that it's kind of useless, but uh in, in in the immortal words of uh, a video I saw once, doing doing even one piece of damage is better than doing no damage. Also, I completely forgot I was supposed to take out a third one and just started walking back because I was so uh, preoccupied with explaining that. Or mound. There we go. There we go. But yeah, you'll oftentimes notice that they will uh, shortcut by just using um. They will use an icon like twice or even more than twice because instead of making a new icon for something, instead they're gonna um, yeah. Instead of making a new icon, they might as well just use the old one. The only time that I've really ever seen them do that is when it comes to um is when it comes to ores because they try to make each ore a significantly different color or use a different um icon model for it and uh oddly enough um the other one that they do it with is fish for uh for when you're doing fishing stuff because every single one of those needs to depict the fish or else you won't know which one is which. How'd you fare, friend? Did you find the raw uh, Nasha kite? Beautiful, isn't it? Rarer than any stones and more expensive than most. They say the green is the same as the eyes of Nasha Ul Nasha, who once ruled as the Sultana. This should save Dadanen from his troubles if there's enough left. There's far less here than what I found. I reckon those coblins made a meal of the stuff. Bloody waste. Let me just grab those coins. There you go. Level 20. Uh, Lenosica Shroud. Yeah, you could definitely tell that some of these things are like... Nah, we're gonna... It was like, since you're hitting level 20... And you're going to be traveling all over the place. Why not, like, put things into other areas? You know? Okay. Now that uh, all of that is settled. 
a uh, drunken stab wishes to repay your kindness with some useful information. You would like a chance to make some money, right? Then I know... Uh, then I know just how I can repay you for your kindness. Swarms of sun midges have been harassing travelers along the road. Connecting Horizon to here. It's gotten so bad that the brass blades have started paying folks to keep the roads clear. If you find it hard to believe that swarms of tiny midges can be so bothersome, then you've never seen a chocobo driven into a frenzy by one. There have already been some terrible accidents. Do your part, slay a few swarms, and after that let Fufulupa know. He'll reward you with some trouble and maybe even offer you some more work. Thanks! Uh, I love how they actually mark all of them on the map. Once again, it's... um. They will deliberately mark things on the map, uh, in the mini-map, but if you actually try to look at them on the regular map, they're just gone. It really does feel at times that, uh, the mini-map is actually more important to look at for stuff. I just realized I hadn't been, um, I forgot to, uh, recoup my, uh, my XP bonus. Whoops! Hey, sorry, you don't know me, but, um, I was just helping out over there. Greetings and salutation, adventurer. What do I owe this? Oh, you've slain how many swarms of sun midges? You have my sincerest thanks. Brass play has been struggling to keep them in check, so your assistance is greatly appreciated. Will you be staying in Horizon long? If so, there is much and more you can do to help here. Uh, just gonna grab the coins again. Fufalupa wants you to track down a missing courier. Allow me to enlist your aid, a brave adventurer. I have... I would have you ascertain the whereabouts of a missive that I sent the Lost Hope the other day. Captain Leofric has sta is stationed there, and ever since he was transferred, we've exchanged letters, but never before has it taken this long to receive a reply. And so I fear that the courier may have met with some misfortune en route. She must have made it to Central Thanalan, or the brass blades that patrolled the roads between here and Scorpion Crossing would have seen something, but if she made it as far back as Blackbrush Station, she would have surely delivered the letter by now. Lost Hope is practically on its doorstep. I suggest you focus your search on the road to Blackbrush Station in Central Thanalan. Uh, with luck, you'll find her quickly. Yeah, let me just sell some stuff and then I'll be on my way. Ah, oh, I'm such an idiot. Okay. <laughs> uh, I actually completely forgot that there's actually three a quest that you actually do from, um, um, from her. Uh, I might actually just slot this after the, uh, the first two, just so it's a little bit more consistent. Ah, if, you, if we uh, clear prism. Uh, wants you to learn how to craft glamour prisms. Thanks to yours truly, you have a basic understanding of glamours, yes? I also understand you're no stranger to crafting this and that by yourself. It so happens that these skills can be applied to a singular cause. Would you be interested in helping to bring more glamour to the world? By that, I mean learning to take glamour prisms either for personal use or to aid the aesthetically unprivileged. I will find everything in due course, but there is something I need to prepare beforehand. Bring me some Othardian orange juice in the meantime, would you? Disast Fullicind, same as last time. Well, staring at me isn't going to get that orange juice poured any quicker. Hurry up, would you? Eh, fine. Guess I'm gonna just walk back in here. Sirgrim's got you running errands then? And she wants some Authardian orange juice this time? Twelve preserve. Well, here it is. I think she and I need to have a little chat about her tab. This order alone costs more than some of our big drinking regulars spend in a whole night. Wow. <laughs> like, dang. Uh, I really needed to do this. It's one of the reasons why I got my crafting classes up so high, 
is so I can actually do this one because I can only do this as one of my crafting classes. You have my drink, I take it. Oh wait. Astronomical prices are charged for Arthardian oranges, although only a true connoisseur could tell the difference between those grown in Eorzea. Now that's what I call orange juice. Eastern oranges have that bitter kick that truly invigorates the soul. Bam. All that jumping around almost made it go down the wrong way. Uh, anyway, before we begin, I have a confession to make. To be perfectly frank, my expensive taste in orange juice have to be paid for somehow. And while my intentions are sincere, my reasons for helping you are not entirely altruistic. Pass a letter to Gerberin, the merchant, and he'll allow you to browse his Glamour Prism recipe tomes. If you buy any of them, he'll give me a cut of the profits, and you'll have the knowledge you seek, and I'll have my money for the orange juice. That... That would be more... Pickant? Okay, this is a word I've never actually seen before. One second. Pequent. Okay. Pequent. Like, frequent, but pequent. Got it. I will also send word to my associate, Whiskered, in Revenant's Toll. We have a similar arrangement, and I'm sure you'll find his prices just as fair as Gobrin's. You should start with Gobrin, though, since his stall's right there, by the pissed piece. Once you've read those books, you'll be able to make the prisms yourself and share the glory of glamours with the masses okay uh i don't think i have enough uh money to make it to be honest uh, i sense you come in pursuit of true x ex elegance and is that a letter of introduction peeking from your pocket may i see it uh a water of introduction from seer grim Written while she waited for her orange juice to be poured. Ah, uh, so you're Sirgwen's protege. And you wish to pr uh, produce glamour prisms? A noble endeavor. My selection of tones reserved for only the most deserving and yours to peruse. You can now purchase Master Crafting Tomes from Gobrin as well as Tataroga in Mordona. By using the tomes, you can learn the recipes with it. Okay, so one of the interesting things about Glamour Prisms is that you used to be able to have grades of them and then specific ones for certain items. So, you know how we did all that stuff with throwing an item into a Glamour Dresser? Well, for us to do that, we would have actually needed a Grade 2 Armor Craft Glamour Prism. Uh, uh, just gonna say, with how like weird and obtuse this was, they almost instantly switched over to uh, the glamour, the regular Glamour Prisms that we have now. Like, no one, no one liked this. Like, this was weird. Like, no one really enjoyed this. So, of course, they switched it to the regular Glamour Prism stuff. Okay, so we actually have a few things here that we can buy. Not only can we buy uh, clear and um, Glamour Dispellers, which are always kind of neat. I'm actually going to just shove that back in his face we can actually get clear items uh i'm actually gonna go um we could even get one that removes the uh the fist weapons if we're doing pugilist which is cool but i actually prefer getting you know stuff that has the uh i i rarely ever put this on because i actually like finding you know uh, fists that are smaller that actually go onto the hand instead of just removing it entirely. But this is the important part. So, the question is, what exactly do I grab? 
And the and the answer is uh, Goldsmith. Now you might be asking why Goldsmith. Uh, one thematically it, it makes most sense. Two, out of all of the crafting stuff, for all of it, let's go to Goldsmith, uh, Housing, Tribal Quests, there it is, Master Recipes. A clear prism and two silver ingots. That, combined with some, some uh, crystals instead of shards, that's basically really easy to come across. Uh, actually, uh... Can I buy back this uh, clear prism? Thank you. Um, can I just uh, quickly do that? Uh, okay. So we're going to come back and buy all of those eventually when we are just stacked with money. But the other thing we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be buying the Emperor's new items of the uh, jewelry. Uh, and yeah, sure, I'll just get the rest of them as well. Since we have enough money for it. Slowly draining down the little money we had. Uh, um, but yeah, all of this stuff is going to be thrown in there as well. And I just realized that we don't have enough for it. So we just grabbed a bunch of items that we don't have enough space for. Fine, I might as well just grab a Dispeller as well, since we're going to need one in our stuff eventually, since we're going to be holding on to a lot of this stuff. To be honest, crafting Glamour Prisms, not actually the most optimal thing you could do. Uh, because, one, you're going to need clear Prisms, meaning that you're going to need to go buy them anyway. Uh, two, you're going to need... Uh, you don't need shards, you need crystals, which are a little bit harder to come by and are going to be a little bit harder to, um, a little bit less frequent that you find around. And three, uh, you could just buy them outright from your, uh, from your grand company later. So I don't actually care about, uh, making them like that. The main reason why I did that, to be completely honest with all of you, was to get these the new emperor items uh it may sound kind of funny but i actually really do like having these on hand uh there is something s significant about saying hey i kind of just don't want this stuff here oh wait um uh, okay so so far we have two of them missing. We have Emperor's New Fist and we have Emperor's New Shield. Emperor's New Shield, we actually have to do a few other things to get. Because we can't actually get it through him. I look bad. Um, we can't actually get it through him. We can get the fist and we're going to get that eventually when we have like a, uh, a five digit number sitting here. Uh, but yeah, definitely we will come back and get the other stuff. But for right now, that's not important. What is important is that we've got to we've got to actually do the main story quest. So let's actually come continue with that for a bit. 